5.1 is out and it is amazing. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Here's a quick update. We're going to look at what has changed on some awesome examples and the prompts to create them. One thing that I found is really good at is create complex images with a lot of elements and a lot of details in it. Also, as you can see here, multiple characters in the same image. Now the team says that 5.1 is more opinionated. That means that it will apply more of the mid journey magic to your prompt so that you can work with shorter prompts and still get amazing images. But of course, there's also a raw mode that allows you to be more complex. Now, another thing that differentiates this from 5.0 is that there is higher coherence, that it has more accuracy to the text prompt. It has fewer unwanted borders and text artifacts. That's a big one because I found that that is often a problem with version 5.0. You've got these borders around your image, even though you wanted to have a different ratio and then also these text artifacts floating around. So this is better now and improved sharpness. I had a lot of problem with images that have been blurry in the details. Now, like I said, there's also a raw mode. This gives you more control, but you also need a better prompt. So you need to be more detailed, more specific at what you want to have. But of course, this gives you more artistic freedom. So a lot of users really enjoy using the raw mode. Now, another interesting thing here is that they announced 5.1 and then shortly after they already made it to the standard mode for mid journey. And that also means that 5.1 is really solid as a version. So let's have a look at some examples here. This is one that I created of Thanos. Now, the interesting thing here is when you look at the face, specifically the teeth, they work out great. They look natural. They are not. There's no middle teeth that you often see. Also, the lips look pretty good for that character. He doesn't have the normal Thanos chin with these lines on it, but the character overall looks pretty great. Here I have a comparison between version 4 version 5 and 5.1 and you can see how this is improving with each version of mid journey and of course the last one is very amazing from the coherence from the accuracy from the feel of the materials here you can see that I've used a very simple prompt for this, just portrait of smiling Thanos evil smile. And what you can also see here for the info is that this is not upscaled, but still you get a high resolution, which is standard for the newer versions of Mid Journey. Here we have some other examples. And again, you can see there is a lot going on in the image, a lot of details, but they are at the same time accurate and everything is working together very well well. Here I have zoomed into the image and what I really like here is the accuracy of the hands. They work but also they actually play the instrument so that is really impressive. Here you can see the prompt also the artist Maddox so that is really really cool. Here we have the next image another great example of an image that has a lot of detail in it. Now what I like about this example is that these details are not just there, but they actually make sense in the image to build a face out of these mosaic stones. That is not an easy task to do. Here we have a zoom in. And again, you can see very nice details on the nose, on the lips, on the ears, specifically something that's not easy to create. Everything looks pretty amazing here. Again, here we have the prompt. It's rather short, looks pretty amazing. And you can also see here in this prompt that you can use Q for quality, S for stylize and C for chaos with version 5.1. Another thing that I really like about 5.1 is how it renders materials, especially feathers, hair, pelt. As you can see here, the details are amazing. It looks very fluffy. It has this photorealism to it. And overall, also, when you look at the feet of the bird, how he is sitting on that twig is very accurate. I really like that. Here we have a zoom in of the same scene. And you can also see, for example, these smaller feathers around the eye are also there. And also there is paid attention by the AI to the different sizes and different qualities of feathers. So really enjoy these details. Here we have the prompt and the artist. 
Again, this prompt is using C for chaos. It's using S for stylized. So both of them are really interesting and a ratio of five by nine. Something I like often to play with is the inside of spaceships. And in the past, Midjourney often created things that look great, but are kind of empty, especially hallways in spaceships. So I feel like this is getting better with each version. It looks very good. Also, I like the shiny ground here. The materials feel actually pretty nice. Here we have the prompt for that. Of course, this is alien inspired, the Nostromo spaceship. So pretty cool. Play around with that. You can create really amazing scenes here for spaceships, for sci-fi scenarios. Next, we have another image here that is pretty cool where you can create actual stock photos here for sliced fruit. I like how the water looks. I like the detail on the fruit, especially the smaller details on how they actually look in real life. Like, for example, these little leaves on the strawberries or when you have the blueberries that they have these little things coming out on the bottom where the skin is kind of making its own kind of leaf version here. So that is pretty amazing. Here we have the prompt for that. Now you can see that the prompt is split in two. That is because the lower part of the prompt is actually a negative prompt. So that is minus minus no for no children, women or girl in that image, just the fruit with some splashing water around that. Another style you will often see right now on Mid Journey is Wes Anderson in all the kinds of variations. Here we have Darth Vader having a tea party and it just looks super cool. It has this kind of Wes Anderson color pattern and flair and awkwardness craziness to it, which I really love. I, I'm a huge fan of his movies and this just brings everything together in a very nice style. Here we have the artist and the prompt for that. So we have a woke photo shoot of Darth Vader of Star Wars in Wes Anderson style. Really cool. Try that out. Play around with this prompt. You can create all kinds of amazing things. Next, a shout out to some of the awesome people on Twitter. So here we have Barcy with a vintage photo. Really cool image here. Very nice style. And I again like the details of the clothing, of the flowers, how realistic everything is, but also the actual feel of a vintage photo. You really would not know that this is an AI image if somebody didn't tell you beforehand. Here's another really cool example by Heather Cooper. Now this is for infographics of a translucent vehicle. So you can see that this also can be used for design purposes, for presentation purposes. And of course, it is pretty difficult to render the inside looking through the outside of a material. And I find that the AI here that Midjourney 5.1 is doing a really great job at putting everything together, a highly complex job really, really amazing result here. This is the prompt for the image that you have just seen. This one is a little bit longer, but the result is just mind blowing. Next, we have an image by Fletchy, which is a little bit eerie, but at the same time, the realism, the way how good the skin looks here, how this looks like an actual film still, like a film scene is mind blowing. And this kind of quality is just something that Mid Journey is really good at at the moment with 5.1. Try that out. Here you have the prompt for that. You can see it's a very short prompt. That is also amazing. This is actually using minus minus Q2, which is quality two. So try that out and see what you get with this short prompt from Fletchy. One of the themes I really like, I've seen it multiple times on Twitter, is this portrait inside of a car filled with flowers. This is just very creative, amazing and really beautiful. Here's a version by Alamin on Mid Journey 5.1. Again, in a vintage style, it looks really mind blowing and the quality, the details. And this, the important thing here is when you look at the different flowers, most of them actually look like the flowers. So that is what I talked about at the start, having so many different characters in an image, but still they work as they are. 
Next, we have an image here by Alan T. And this is a very nice example of having multiple characters in the same image, but all of them work out in a great way. So you can see here that the bodies are coherent. There is no extra arms or extra legs or some other kind of craziness going on. Everything here works out very well. Also, the fur is really good. The materials are great. This is just a really nice example. Here you have the prompt for that, which is really interesting. So you can also put in here. So he has these kind of placeholders for the adjective, the animal type, the group type, so that you can fill it up with your own ideas and then put the rest of the prompt as you see it here and create your own superstar elements. Play around with that. Please share your results in my Discord group, in my Facebook group. You can also follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>